Hello, good evening. Chris Hughes from Rebound here today on the Upstream Media Show. Um, I can't believe it's Saturday already this week, so I'm really quick. Um, it's been a great week for me on the show. I've had some great guests. And um, if you've not touched those videos from the week gone by or even further back, do check them out. There's a lot of good shows going on this channel. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to get all the latest content from Upstream Media Who. During the season, stream live uh, NBL D1 days, Tempest A Cavaliers. And obviously, this off season, doing a daily show, and it's been really great content. I've really enjoyed listening to all the shows that are on, the, on air. So, it's not just myself on, on the uh, videos. We've had high rollers, doing some really great content. And we've had Coach CJ Lee and um, <clears throat> having great conversations with fellow coaches. And they'd be really insightful about the the coaching side of the game. So definitely listen, uh, go and watch shows if you haven't already. And read the shows. Um, tonight I've not got a guest, but um, I've really enjoyed this week's shows. And the recurring themes come back is <coughs> in the shows I've had. We've had Herb Snore, and he's talked about his brand of make it work. Um, and good enough to. I mean, last that was a really great show. Definitely one to watch. It was um, myself and James Thompson, who's a director, former head coach of Teesside Lions. Really great conversation, great topics raised. Um, I learned a lot about the club. Obviously, it's been quite topical news. People may not know, but Mark Stutel, GB head coach, has uh, gone to NBL D3 and that was a massive talking point in terms of British basketball media so it's great to talk to James Thompson and for me I did a bit of research as head of the show but I really wanted to know a bit more about the brand so I think there was some question marks away so actually the more I learned about the brand and what's going on in Teesside terms of basketball you can see the benefits and the pros what makes it a uh, uh, a, a program that's really looking like one to watch out for the future. Um, they talked about their BBL ambitions. Um, they talked about obviously the new head coach. Um, they're already looking at recruiting players for next season. Um, I think they've got a really on point brand and attracted uh, big crowds for what maybe might be seen a lower level basketball, but actually still it was really important. I thought it was really just to learn about the excitement factor is they um i think they pride themselves quite a lot about not just at the basketball shed but the whole package and that goes from a really nice season to hit all the printed tickets um match the entertainment food <coughs> ways to engage the audience from half-time competitions and it just sounds like a really great place to go and watch basketball and i'm always echoing on if you ever get a chance to go and watch a game live, does there's a lot of great game day experiences. Um, and <clears throat> what I really love last chat to James in the background, he had always great jerseys, and we talked a bit about the jerseys, and we talked a bit about the brand. And I think when you go watch a game, you know, it is, there's, we're not just said watch basketball, it's the entertainment upside package. And it was really good to hear about what the uh, T-Side Lives do to attract the audience. And then um, also had uh, Lester Riders, WBBL, former head coach, Krimesh Patel. And we sort of touched upon there with Lester Riders, a really rich history of kit jerseys. That's kind of led me where I want to talk to you about today. And I'm, one thing I've really been excited about this season is all the, the great jerseys. Um, and I've really seen a... Uh, an increase in terms of teams marketing, really trying to push the boundaries for their club or the national team. Um, I think what would be really great to start is to talk a bit about the Team GB. I really love both their kits. They're really nice, clean kits. Um, look really nice. And the marketing behind it was really good. Um, I'll post on my rebound site later on in the week um, about sort of the uh, documented his journey. And it was really sort of transparent and really show how they were using the players of today's game to really help um, make the kit to what it was. And I think it's a really good kit. Um, 
a really strong believer, but like, say from a footballing background, but if you get a really good kit, it's really read a free advertising marketing role. So it was great to see them make a great kit. And then what I really enjoyed this season is I'm doing wallpaper Wednesday. Just as much as everyone wants to go out and buy a kit, sometimes you can't, you know, times to be tough or money, people might not have money, but actually to have an opportunity to do wallpaper Wednesday. And again, it was another way of free advertising. Just a lot of people who maybe didn't buy the jersey, they got their name done in the motif design of the kit, posted on their, their Twitter uh, pic or just had it as a picture on their feed. Again, it brings um, it brings attention to it. It's always free advertising again, and I think I'd love to see more of that. And what I'd be excited about is several new kits. Um, <clears throat> so obviously, moving away from GB, the NBL, there's some lots of great kits out there. Um, people look at different ways, people more in, innovative. Um, one club that comes to mind on top of my head is Worthing Thunder, and he did a great pink kit to raise money for uh, cancer program, uh, sorry, cancer charity. And I think it's a really great idea, sort of promotes a really worthy cause. And it's also <clears throat> a really nice tip. Um, I really look forward to next season to see what kits clubs come out with next. Um, and there's a lot of local brands made kit. I think that's really good for the game, having the local brand support the local teams. Um, one brand that really impressed me this season um, started five and I definitely a um, big fan of the Ipswich and Leicester Warriors away tr uh, strip both a similar design using the colours for club and again I really hope more clubs take the opportunity to maybe sort of sell their kit to people but obviously I know it's, it's not as it's easier said than done because when you have that kit design you know, the design is what you buy in bulk, so you need to have that interest in the kit. It can't just, by say, buy 10 kits, just think maybe sort of five or six percent of your fans buy, they probably want you to get a big love stock, and it's the cost involved. But hopefully, as the game develops, we'll see more kids, um, more clubs retailing their jerseys. Um, and I think it's a really good way for the British basketball brand to expand. Um, I've, I mentioned the GB dates before in terms of marketing, but one thing I really enjoyed watching T GB Davis was looking at the new audience. And you saw people being proud to sort of promote their team with that's Leicester Riders. There was a few London Lions things there, I saw a few other stuff. So it was really great people wearing their team colours to the national game because, uh, you know, often it's, you see in games, everyone's got the NBA shirt and I, you know, it's almost advertising that game. You think, oh, it'd be great if maybe half those people had a British basketball shirt on or a jersey from um, another team, you know, local team to sort of promote that team. Um, <clears throat> and I think I think we'll get there. I was, I say, there's a lot of podcasts out there. That I've, I've been watching as many as I can in between working this, and I watched uh, Chat Do of I say. Podcast he was just on the show and he made a really good point with Kevin Fag uh, Renly about players sort of building their brand. And I think the more we see people build their brand, the more the interest people will have in them. I think every say it's a really great example. He's got a he's a really likable character and he's built his brand and it, the impact he had there was really amazing. Uh, it was something we touched upon on Friday show again. We didn't catch the show on Friday. I was drumming Teesside Lions, turned director James Thompson. It was a really good show. Great chat. I really like the treat they uh, promoted it. So get the kettle on and watch it. I say it's a long show, but it's really informative. It's a great discussion. And I learned lots about Teesside Lions. And also, sort of maybe the beside, uh, behind the scenes chats that have been going on with, say, himself and Mark getting ready for next season. And also their goals as a franchise. Uh, and I think that, that's really interesting. Um, and I say it's it's not an easy thing just to put a kit out there because you don't have the audience who wants to buy it, but you also got the 
if it's a player, it's not a player on the team, but people want to get that number, it's not an easy thing. But I'm really looking forward to hopefully we'll see more of that in the future. I say it's been a really busy week for the show. We've had some great guests and great discussions. Um, if you're looking for something to do tomorrow evening, um, Ruben's got a really good uh, film, DVD. I think it's a 30 minute special. Uh, it's a hot, sorry, Hassan's Basketball Brew Free Fundamental Skills. I think it's really great to sort of learn more about our game. I, I always think. Uh, to break down some of the boundaries that British basketball has, it's, de- it's um, developing our understanding of the game. I'm not saying about players or coaches or the volunteers, they, they really know the stuff, but in terms of reach out to a bigger audience, there's definitely more we can do to educate that audience because um, it's a quick game. And if you watch the whole game and you're like, oh, don't really know what's going on, you're not going to feel that connected to it to want to go back and come back and watch another game. Um, <clears throat> on the flip side, there's other factors like uh, what James said, but sorry, not James, sorry, Mark Thompson on yesterday's show was saying, but you know, it's not just about them putting on the fence for people to watch basketball because people coming in, they know they don't watch basketball games, so it makes it a bit more than a basketball game, game entertaining people. And I think that's really the point. And also, if people are educated, know, know about the game. They're more likely to want to come back, but also if they're entertained, they also want to come back as well. So, and I think a brand plays a really big role. It. So I was really grateful to get him on the show to talk a bit about the brand. And I think there's a lot of clubs who really great work in promoting their brands. Uh, there's no criticism intended. Maybe clubs aren't able to do that because I'm f- fully aware, but it takes a lot of work, a lot of time to do that. And, a lot of clubs went on limited resources, uh, limited personnel who have other qualities, so they're the ones that coached it or ones out there trying to get some sponsors in or, you know, the work clubs and the people involved in the clubs, it's amazing. Um, and I kind of want to back to the jersey. I've gone a bit off point. So there was a few other jerseys I really liked. Um, we obviously talked a bit about GB one. We've talked a bit about... Um, the word in Thunder I mentioned. Um, sorry, I had to think there. Left the Warriors and Ipswich, they're really great kits. And I think having kits like that, and it, um, I think it's they can have a real uh, big role in promoting the clubs because we've got a big culture in this country, like in football, which I think you can transfer some bits towards where. Fans are really keen to have that shirt to know for people to know base support that club. And I think if it's a strong brand, people want to know. People know I support that club. I really enjoy it. I'm really passionate about it. And I think that's the the biggest challenge. Bus was getting the, the casual fans, or maybe people don't want to so often, become more passionate and build the game up. Um, there are lots of tips just in the NBL, amazing. Uh, as something to mention, um, tried it off Bethley, Bark and Abbey, I really like that. was a really nice, clean design. Chris Colours, night kit. I'm sure a lot of kids would be like, oh, that'd be a really cool kit to wear. Um, Bradford got some really great um, warm-up shirts and really great um, tees. And I imagine, again, they must see the benefit of having their local fans wear that event out and about in the community promoting the team so it's great to see um one of the shots i really enjoyed watching this year was liverpool's so i mentioned it before say in my most tips cost 20 25 pounds which might not seem a lot but in terms of you know general life you know it might not be a priority for that family to pay 20 20 25 pounds on the kit there might be other things going on but with liverpool's um it's it's reversible so i thought that's a really good idea. It's sort of innovative and it's also um, trying to sort of make it seem more affordable. So then you buy one kit, you've got the array colour on the back. So that's a really good idea. And it's great seeing all these clubs' ideas. I think this season's been real. There's been um, some really good change and really good um, ideas going in. I mentioned less of the rides. I'm sure you're all aware. They got some great kits and did a poll on whose kit was 
more popular. And I, I thought I'm, I say I'm sure everyone out here who's watching this show is missing basketball and really look forward to when it comes back on. Um, I've not heard anything myself, but it's coming back on. I see like everyone else is just sitting and waiting to see. Um, it, it seems a bit far away at the moment, if I'll be honest. So next season's probably all December time. Uh, it's quite a few months left, but hopefully we'll have basketball to watch soon. Um, and I'm really keen to like um, learn more about the jerseys. So obviously I know a lot of them about this year and I've been following basketball the last three or four years. I've learned so much from learning about the English basketball page. So on my social media, I posted a post advertising this show, but also wanted it to stretch on them because I think it's great when we talk about the history and the things we really enjoy. I think sharing ideas is always a positive thing, helps grow the game. <coughs> so if there's a kit I've not mentioned or a kit your club did a few years that you really enjoyed, um, get in contact first, we'll promote it and post pictures of it. And hopefully we'll get some more great discussions going, keep us going for his off season. Um, I, I said as everything I wanted to talk about the jerseys and obviously the shows. I've mentioned we've had some really good shows this week. Um, I say I've really enjoyed watching them back. There's a lot to, a lot of discussion in all of them, but also the other guys doing the shows here they do a great job. Um, this week CJ had Mark Stutel on. I thought it was a really great show. Um, without giving you any spoilers, um, as I said, he's a coach that a lot of people talk about at the moment. <clears throat> with him moving to MBL D3, having a really successful time with GB squad recently. And if you haven't seen that show, already, I, I recommend you go watch it. Uh, so, without spoiling it, it was really insightful. Um, learned a bit about his philosophy, what he likes his team to play, what style. Um, well, I mentioned, mentioned also a bit about his journey, um, and also his plans going forward. And I say we sort of touched a few of those yesterday with the direct, but I think his show did a really good job of <clears throat> obviously from a horse to mouth being the head coach himself. It was a really great show, really great discussion. And I say CJ's uh, uh, shows are really great to watch. I recommend you go and watch them if you're looking for something else to do. Uh, on the rebound website as well, we I really think it's important to put everything in basketball. I think the more discussion we have on basketball, more potential for it to grow and reach a bigger audience. So if there's any shows I've not mentioned or things you've really enjoyed, let me know. I add it to the website, direct people. Um, I say I've all this finished. If I would say I thought I might. Uh, talk a bit about what we're doing at the moment. So if there's any players or coaches out there, I've recently started um, doing Photoshop. I'm learning, I'm starting out, I'm really enjoying it. I really want to sort of develop my skill set in this time. And a lot of the guests we come on have really said the importance of growing your skill set when you can, obviously with perspective, but not every day to be a productive day. It's difficult times at the moment. And I really enjoyed it. I think I've been watching the YouTube tutorials on Photoshop, learning things as I go on. And I, I think when you do something like that, you've got to be not not to be scared to make a mistake because it can be daunting when you're faced something with five or six menu bars or things. But I really enjoyed doing the process. Did my first graphic on there. Um, I say if there's any players, coaches on there who want me try to do a graphic, I'll do my best. I'm definitely just learning, but looking for stuff to keep me busy. So hit the DMs if you want me to make a graphic for you. I'm, I'm learning. I'd really love to do a few more. Um, i say maybe next, probably tomorrow evening, I'll have a list of guests for next week's show. Um, <clears throat> got a few things lined up already, um, either for next week or week after. Um, I really want to sort of do a lot more shows about with um, sort of grassroots, learn a bit about their story and their journey. With, I'm speaking to a few franchise moments. Hopefully we'll get a few EABL teams on. 
So I really enjoyed yesterday's show. It it became much bigger than I thought it'd be. I was, I was um, for me, I, I knew a little bit about the franchise and I just wanted to hear their story because I felt, and again, it's what I said about developing understanding. I think quite a lot of people just saw the appointment of Mark Stuto and thought, okay, why, why has that happened? But the club has released a really informative uh, statement. Um, for me, on paper, they had a lot of things to say. Well, for me, they got a attractive big fan base. They um, seem to have all the little marketing things in place. Uh, they have an emphasis on grassroots to help people ground up. It definitely seemed like uh, all the ingredients there for someone to have a genuine ambition of BBL. So I'm looking forward to seeing where they go. Um, and the show is really great. Uh, James Dyke is a really passionate um, person. Um, and it was really a great show. And um, I learned lots about the franchise. It was great to talk to him about all things basketball. So if you haven't seen that show already, go ahead to it. Um, and I think that's everything for me. So any questions, any jerseys you really like, post them to me. I'll share them on the site. It'd be great to sort of learn a bit more about the history and players. And uh, stay safe. And I'll see you all next week. Take care and goodbye.